You know, I realize this chapter is going to be from Memoria's perspective. I. That's going to be interesting. When do you get that? In like a game where you get to see it from the perspective of somebody that knows more than they normally let on. Eh, they're probably going to subvert it on us. My parents met at their university, and I was born while they were still students. My father and mother were both brilliant, talented students with promising futures ahead of them. Now, why do you think such a couple would have a child while they're still students? Well, it's because they wanted to conduct an experiment to satisfy their curiosity. In other words, they wanted to see if they could raise a greater genius than its brilliant parents. My father, particularly, was the type who had to take action once he set his mind on something. Since fertility rates are higher while young, he convinced my mother to have me. So typical of him. Whether or not there was any love between them, I just don't know. They never did get married. In any case, my mother, Sakura, passed down her family name, Ichio. And I was named Mamoru. My father wanted to name me Sho, but prioritized my mother's wishes instead. Sho? Wanted to name him Sho. That's... I feel like there are some, going to be some very important details kind of snuck in here. And so, our experimental family life began. But despite their expectations, I turned out abhorrently mediocre with no special talents. And the more I aged, the more the gap between me and talented individuals widened. When I turned 12, my father gave up on me and left me for good. My mother also seemed to discard her expectations of me, focusing on her work instead. Five years later, a girl who was hailed a genius was born. Between my father and his new woman. Sachika? Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. What? A spare X key? That's right. There's a spare X key in a certain place, if you can get it. If you can bring Haruto back to life. My lower back is hurting from sitting on the hard floor in the same position for so long. I move my hands and feet and feet that were bound just a minute ago in search of a more comfortable position. No, no, no. You really think we're gonna buy that? Hey. You're the one who turned us into human clones and make, made the Extend you Machine. Dummy. Or Extend TV. He's gotta be lying to make us put our guard down. They all begin yammering at once. I watch them indifferently for a while, and once they calm down, I begin However, speaking. Yet, if you wanna revive Haruto, you have no choice but to believe me. Uh, uh, Mamoru. In that case. I have to ask, why the change of heart? You wanted to kill us, right? I didn't expect Kuroski to betray me, but that helped me realize something. If I lose all of you, I will truly be alone in this world. That's why I want to save Haruto, who sacrificed himself for us. Uh-huh. As expected, they all look at me with eyes full of skepticism. But it doesn't matter, no matter how much they distrust me. As long as I tempt them with hopes of bringing Haruto back to life, they have no choice but to agree. Nothing more than a casual game where I know the outcome already. She used to hate things like this. A smile faintly reminded it of a distant memory. That's... So where is the spare X key? That's... One of the places I used to work. Hirosaka... Hirosaka... Memorial Hospital. What? Hirosaka? What? Wait, that hospital? That's right. You should know that place well. You lived there for a long time after all. Hirosaka Memorial is where the human clone research began. It's where you, the first human clone in the world, were born. That's where... that's the hospital where Sachika lived? Oh, no. Is that true, Sachika? Oh, but... Yeah, I did used to live there, but 
I didn't know Mamoru worked there. It, it is, they say both Mamoru and Mamoru, it bothers me. Or anything about Let's human clones. That's because any and all information about clones was top secret, and we had no reason to tell her she was a human clone at the time. Not to mention, that was before I got into weight training and was unrecognizably unre skinny back then. So... So where is this hospital? You want us to wait for it to drift up to Garage Island like the other runes? No! Th that could take days, or months even. We can't wait that long. I want to help Paruto as soon as possible. My, my. I don't think it matters when you help him at the, uh, when you help him at this point, seeing as how oh, he's already dead. That's love. Even I must admire your depth, the depths of your love, Miss Rinko. <laughs> Stop messing around. This is my first time getting yelled at while tied uh, tied up. It's not so bad, eh, Rio? Don't worry, we can go to Hirosaka Memorial whenever we want. Well, go to? You mean it's nearby? Right. I think it'd be faster to show you rather than explain. I'll bring Haruto back to life, so would you mind untying me? Mm. I muster the best gentlemanly and sincere gaze I can and ask that they release me. Somehow, I'm certain they'll untie me. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the garage kids, it's time for my revenge to begin. Oh, this is creepy. I don't like any of this. The oh, <laughs> here's all my equipment. Is... That's kind of kind of them to just give it all to me. Well, I'll hold that. We might as well this grab them useful. and turn them in. Oh, we did actually get score for that. Okay, well, we have a new transplant. Oh, what was the last uh, machine part? Because we got one more, but we never found out what it did. Is it even in? No, we haven't even put it in yet. I stand before the small shrine on Garage Island. So, why'd you bring us here? Hey, begging the gods for help isn't going to do you any good, my, you know. My. I wish you'd all trust me a little more, like you did in elementary school. <laughs> you have no right to say that. More importantly, you were supposed to take us to the hospital. Well, Just watch. I reach into the shrine and press the switch hidden inside. The shrine slides to the side, revealing a ladder leading underground. This whole time? It's like an entrance to a secret case! This is so cool, Mamaru! I ignore her excited comment. Uh, I ignore her excited comment and put my foot oh, in, on wait, the ladder. Doctor, you're telling me there's a hospital under here? Just follow me and find out. Don't worry, I won't try to flee. Alright then. Is everyone okay with that? I nod in response. Not that they have any Very other well. choice. So let's go then. I'll show you the secret of Garage Island. Below the ladder is a room about 13 square meters in size. Everyone makes their way down. I flip the light switch on. Wow, we! What is this place? Wow! It's like a spaceship's cockpit. Hmm. I'd say it's more akin to a submarine. But you're right about it being a cockpit. This is the control room for Garage Island. What? A control my, room? My. Have you heard of Unexpected Gord Island? No, that's probably before your time. Garage Island is a moving island, like a giant ship. This is the control room where the island is steered from. They're too surprised for words. I don't blame them. I'm sure I'd have the same look on my face if I was in their position. <laughs> I see. It was so simple. <laughs> uh, hey! What, Zen? What's so funny? The mystery has finally been no. solved. I always wondered why the runes related to us drifted up to us with such convenient timing. What? I'm telling you. It's not that the runes were coming to Garage Island. It's the other way around. This island was drifting to the other runes. Huh? Say That's what? Right. That's right, Zen. I'd like to add that once the runes make contact, they're connected to Garage Island underwater. Uh, no way! How is that even possible? Well... I know it sounds preposterous, but Mashiro City was made was made to make such a ridiculous thing possible. Judging by the looks on your face, it appears you didn't know either, Miss Yuma. Well then. Now, enough of the big reveals. Let's head to Hirosaka Memorial Hospital. I stand in front of the control panel and set the coordinates as I've done many times before. <laughs> this tremor. Until now, I've been slowly moving the island at night, so no one would notice. Yeah, I've got a weird loading uh, circle instead. 
I don't know what's up with my computer today. Ah, that's fine. But there's no need for that now, so I'll be cranking up the I speed. Can't wait. Raj Island's moving? I'm gonna go look outside. Uh, hey! Such is wait. Yow! Uh, you should hold on to something. Hey. A little late for that. Um Dr. Mamoru, what are, who exactly I... are you? The mastermind who turned you all into human clones. The school physician of Kyo Academy, a resident and Mani scientist. But I'm also one of you who wants to bring Haruto back to life. What about this? It'll take some time before we get there. You should go rest until then. Of course, you're also free to stand guard over me if you like. With that, I turn away from the others and focus on the various meters and radars before me. Whatever looks they have on their faces, I'm no longer able to see them. In turn, they aren't able to see the look in my face either. Where are we? Okay, so we've got one more over there for Sachika. I I am really interested in seeing where this goes. Oh. It really is the same hospital. It's Sachika's home. That's Hirosaka Memorial Hos Hospital, you guys. It's all old and damaged, but it's definitely it. With her old home in front of her, clone Sachika can hardly contain her excitement. Seeing her childlike and innocent demeanor, I feel an inexplicable sense of anger inside. She. She, who was once known as a genius, would never, would have never expressed herself so unreservedly at this age. Sachi. Hey, Sachi, you ever see an X-Key or an Extend Machine in that hospital before? Hmm. Nope. I didn't have an X-key on my belly when I was in the hospital either. But there were lots of places I wasn't allowed to go, so maybe they were in there. Yep. I see. Thanks for the answer. Everything I've told them so far is true. I need the truth to conceal my true yeah. intentions. If you don't trust me, I can go get it while you all wait here. I'll save Haruto no matter what. No. We can't allow that. Haruto gave up his life to save us, so we'll help him by your own hands. By our own hands. Besides, who would extend you if you die in there alone? Besides. We all share the same fate, as I said before. <laughs> yes, you're right. Here to join me then. Let's go to the mansion where Sachika grew up. A sense of duty is very much like alcohol. Offer them the first sip and they'll drink the rest on their own. The more they drink, the better they feel, and they lose sight of what's important. My plans for Kaio Academy went a bit off course, but I'm not done here. It's not game over yet. Good grief. I don't like the smell in the air. It smells like trouble. Zen Kubota mutters to himself. This is really interesting. I I really like it. I gotta go back though. The The uh lawn care workers are outside and so I've had to like piecemeal this recording. You might even hear it in the background. And they are incessant, so I'm gonna wait until they're done and we'll pick this back up. Not that this will matter for anybody on YouTube, well, unless you heard it, but it matters to me because I like my audio to be nice and pristine if possible. Okay, so now that it's not noisy here for at least the moment, I almost always end up regretting that. Anyway, so... Whoa! Is this whole thing, I mean, apart from the clone research, it... Mamoru said that this is revenge against Sachika. Well, no, he said it was his revenge. Oh, this might wrong be one. Useful. I'm really curious on if this is his revenge against Sachika. Because Sachika Hirosaka. I'm pretty sure she's his sister. Half sister, anyway. And he's resented her, question mark. And he probably might have been that, that skinny res uh that skinny assistant in the um in the Moi video, maybe? Because there was the assistant, and I, I called it that it might have been Mamoru. I, okay, we gotta fight. I'm just, I'm gonna shut up, and I'm just gonna experience. Because I could conjecture, but why? Holy crap. Hirosaka Memorial Hospital. Next destination is
Oh, we do straight up have the rest of the party. Okay. And nobody has any equipment. Why am I here? <laughs> Why did it take all my equipment off? Oh, that counted as an elapsed day. Well, you know what? That's fine. Let's go get my stuff back. Let, let's do some things. Huh? Whoa! I see. I, I it wasn't immediately clear that the whole party had rejoined. Rejoined. Okay, so party formation. Okay, so Rinko still has her gear. I guess it's just nobody else does. Huh. Okay. That's fine. I'm confused about how all this went down. This be oh, used. because Rinko, Rinko was the only one that survived, of course. Maybe we can use this. I'll pick it up. I'm supposed to carry this? I'll pick it up. I'm supposed to carry this? Because... I got... Yep, I get it. I understand. Uh, let's see, so... Yuma... Yuma wants the fire pick, which he has. Bow there. Toss the arrows. Sachka likes sl slashing weapons. Minimo likes baseball bats. Zen likes slashing weapons. I gotta get some more as we go along. Okay, well, at the very least, we can drop these things off. Well, that was mighty kind of them to drop all the uh, resources off. Yeah, actually just dead. Uh, let's see, we had a bunch of strength in her. Okay, cool. So, do we do anything? Do I do I rest up for the mapping bonus? I might as well. Unfortunately, we do not have Haruto. Hopefully we get Haruto back pretty quick. Because uh, it's going to throw off my team comp a little bit. Okay. So now that we've done that, we've got everybody. Everybody's a little hungry. I guess we might as well cook. And then kill everybody again, because that seems to just somehow happen. Uh, let's see, we could do stewed fish. I mean, I might as well go for grilled chicken, because we had, like, an amount of that just sitting around. I guess we might as well make, uh, mixed juice. I don't remember it being particularly useful. But that's okay. All Thanks right. for the meal. Well, I don't hate Is there it. more? Huh. Interesting. Rinko didn't lose any stamina for that. Oh, because she wasn't splitting a bedroom. I forgot that's how this works. Okay, so we wanna transfer the chicken skewers. Thanks for the grub. Thanks. Pretty good. Whew. I'm stuck. Mm, that's good. Exquisite. Okay, so let's bring everybody back. And then let's get to properly adventuring. Let's see. It's important well, to eat properly. So might as well top them off with some juice. Ow. I really wish uh, you actually got like food buffs or s something here. Unfortunately, the. Uh, the survival mechanics in this game are not actually very good, I, I'm gonna say. Like, they're all right. The problem is, like... They don't matter. You know, okay, you you have to go to the bathroom, but reality is, it, it never matters. Managing that is super easy. Uh, eating? Your characters are almost never hungry. Oh, right. I was going to move that up. Oh, and I keep going back to the Bellum Law for reasons. Um, it's tough. But, like, you don't need to eat very often unless you're really going on, like, some kind of crazy endurance run or, like, taking a bunch of damage. Which, you know, in retrospect, I do actually take a decent chunk of damage. <laughs> It just never matters. I'll pick it up. I'm supposed to carry this? 
Let's see, we should probably learn some skills. It's been a while. And yeah, I should do the uh, lore stuff at some point. Okay, so he was Pierce Fundamentals. Okay, so we've maxed that out. I guess we might as well upgrade his ability to do that. Oh! I guess the other thing to do... ...would be, like, upgrade some of these. I guess I probably should have upgraded his bondage plate, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Increase that. Okay. Attack increased while in the back row. Increases charge. I usually put Zen in the front, from what I remember. Might as well get him farming muscles. Oh! That's a whole tree there. Let's go in fighting first. In farming muscles. And then I guess one more in adult aptitude. Now let's see, in fighting level 3. Well. Is always in the front row, so this is always useful. Increases basic attack damage by 5%. Oh. The amount of weight that can be carried. Have I just been missing out on, like, skill and talent trees for these characters? Maybe. I do really wish that this was deeper. Like, it's cool, but a lot of these are, you know, just kind of generic, and I think it would have been so, so satisfying to have, like, really interesting, unique abilities for each of the characters to, like, upgrade through. Doesn't matter that much. Okay, so... I, I guess she's got the aptitude for that, so defense will in the, in the front row. Defense increase will in the back row. I almost ever never use her anywhere else. Cooldown time is decreased upon taking damage. Her aptitudes are not that exciting. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see. I guess let's increase her cooking skill. Okay, so she has Sharp Eye. Defense increased while in the back row, but I always use her in the front. Which is odd, because it actually looks like her, her skills put her in the back row. I don't know. Yeah, because she's also got, like, sniping and a couple other things. Well, in that case, let's go for the generics. I like putting her in front because she's got such a massive uh, health pool compared to everybody else. Okay. We haven't maxed out Critical Strike, which that knockback was actually really helpful. I was kind of surprised about that one. Not that surprised, but it was like fighting the boss, having that knockback was made a difference. Okay, Sachika. We've barely done anything with her. So slash slash expertise, slash mastery, multi-slash. And we'll give her that. Okay, and he's just dead. We'll leave it we'll leave him later. How do we oh. Boar stuff. Wow. I did not realize that boar stuff was. So heavy. Concentrate, Teddy. Careful. Full power. Chicken yeah! head. <laughs> Full power. I don't actually know if we have much of a use for chicken anything. Yeah! I don't. I should probably <laughs> check out its legs and see if I can bust them up. 
and you guys are getting overloaded way nice. too easily here. Okay, let's just put all of these away. Security level four. Door seems locked. Interesting that this area has like a There's security system. That isn't here. Yeah, that's that's something I've completely ignored in this game. Like there's this whole like healing item system that I've almost like exclusively given up on. Let's have a look, shall we? Clinical records for Himika Gojo. It says she had a minor injury. What could this be? Piece of uh, reckless Careful. sky strategy guide. Also, it's like thunderstorming out. I like the mood it sets though. Ooh. There's something here. Stairs, elevator. Well, that ain't happening. I love thunderstorms. I will frequently go to bed listening to just the sounds of thunderstorms. I, when we first moved to Kansas, uh, I guess back when we lived in Kansas, that entire like summer, I, whatever the rest of it, plus like the year, was just filled with the sounds of of thunderstorms. You know, every night was some like incredible thunderstorm. And now. Is that him? No, there's something else bumping around there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, every day, every day it was a different thunderstorm, and it was great. I loved listening to it. Whoops. This might be useful. I'll hold that. Because like it would literally shake the house. It. Knocked out the power once. I think we had like a brownout while I was trying to stream, which was annoying, but like, Let's whatever. Look, shall we? Lean paper bag. There's a cake box and a letter inside. Oh, we should do lore reading There's at some point. Here. Sports bag. Maybe a kid who was injured playing sports waited here. Let's get Haruto back first. What could this be? There's water in there. Nice. Ow. Seems I can't just force it open. Okay. That huh? hurts. But then the following summer, nothing. Let's have a look, shall we? Automated external defibrillator, AE. It won't turn on. Where are we? Okay, we've got a little bit more to check out. Mapping is important to me. Let's see. I don't know what's up with this thing. I'm gonna leave the meat on that. What could this be? S storage out of water. Please refill ASAP. Ah. I'll hold that. Full Hello, power. nurse. <laughs> Ow. Full power. Concentrate. Is that actually a nurse? No. <laughs> Okay. Well, we got that open, so that wasn't bad. Lab coats and casual wear and lockers. Oh, we actually did Rest take some damage necessary there. necessary for gains. That should be fine. But yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, there's this, like, whole medicine system in this game that, like... Careful. I'm gonna say straight up, like, has never mattered. I guess if I really cared about keeping characters like poison free, it would make make a difference. Full power. Give me that arm. Uh. But like for the most part, for the most part, like whenever my characters take a hit, they just die. And if they don't, careful. Oh hey, random toilet. Let's see. Any uh, let's see. None of them really need to go anytime soon, that's good. The way home is... So that door's still closed, but we know why it's closed, so we want to check this out. Oop. Hi, lore, story, things. The passing months have eaten away at the walls and the roof, leaving a dreadful atmosphere. How long has it been since I was last here? Damn it! Man, this sucks! Rundown, rundown hospitals are a staple of scary stories! And... They're a staple of horror games, too. Uh, ah, Rio, uh, b -b behind you! Huh? Don't, don't do that. Seriously, you're making me want to turn around. But... But behind you. Damn it. Okay, fine, I'll look. Yeah. Happy now there's no one here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Listen. Quit messing around. Dr. Ichio. Are there going to be more Extend TV episodes and Conquest videos here? Hmm. No, the last broadcast was the finale, as they said. Those were directed towards you garage kids, so there aren't any episodes for Sachika or myself. Besides, I never planned on coming to this hospital in the first place. Wait, don't tell me you miss Extend TV already. No. Not in the slightest. <laughs> no love for that show, I see. I worked so hard on it, so it's a shame to see it wasn't very popular. The hell? No shit, wait. You really did make those? Yeah. Yes, before you all woke up on Garage Island. It took a while, but I made them bit by bit. This hospital still had working computers and equipment. I'm sure you figured out why I made them by now. What? Inflict stress on us and make us distrust each other. Yeah, yeah. To harass us, in other words. And... I have a question for you. What does our past have to do with these seven deadly no. sins? Nothing more than an illusion. It served as a tool for eerie dramatization. All while misleading you for my true Any identity. Thoughts? But they were quite fitting, don't you think? I see. So the remaining sin of greed fits That's you then? Right. Indeed. I... I've lived only to fulfill my desires. That is the very definition of greed, would you wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Oh, there's another reason I used the Deadly Sins theme. Even without your memories, I wanted you all to remember that you're all sinners. What? Sinners? You... We didn't commit any sins in our memories. We were the ones getting Give me hurt. A break. Not that. Your sin was sa sacrificing Sachika. Oh. Listen. The reason I put you under mental pressure was to make you remember that. You made Yosuke Kurosaki, the serial killer, murder Sachika. That was your sin. That's... Uh... Mamoru? Lone Sachika looks at me and looks down dejectedly. Why does she look so hurt? She, who has the same face and name, but a different heart than the original Sachika. Yeah. That sin is the reason I turned you all into human clones, and why the world was destroyed. What? What does the end of the world have to do with why Sachiko was killed? Hm. Let's continue this discussion later. I'll explain the beginning of your sin, and end in due time. With that, I stare into the darkness behind them. In that darkness, something even dar darker seems to stir. I'm a little disappointed that we haven't just randomly ran into a TV, and it turns out that he thought he was doing stuff, but he was wrong. I don't know. This is interesting. A binder of insurance forms separated by new and returning patients. There it is. No binder, so they could be forms not entered in the system yet. What's this? The reception forms collected from visitors. Power? Okay, I guess we're busting up that arm. Let's see. Full power? I will be taking that arm, dang it. There we go. We didn't get the other stuff, but that's that's okay. But yeah, it's interesting. In in many games, you know, I wish they'd pull the curtain back more. And I'm actually wondering... No, 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 no. What Seems to be an IV room. Clinical records say one... Lactic. Lactic. I'm like lactic acid? Is it edible? Ooh. We got ruby garnet and amethyst. There's something inside the blood pressure cuff. Obtained a jewel. Several jewels, in fact. I'm moving it. Picking clock. <laughs> Help. Okay. Party formation. Ryo has a deck brush. Zen has that. I'll leave the rest to you. Okay. Well, the whole party was wiped out. I probably should have bailed. Well, I have no one left. No one is alive. I have Minimo. But everything was lost, so... I'm gonna go back. This sucks. Alright, let's catch up, and this time I'm not going to get caught out. Unfortunately, that's the one problem with this difficulty system. I can handily deal with single enemies, even to the point where I can deal with bosses. <laughs> Move. 
Uh, I can handily deal with, with solo enemies, bosses, so on and so forth. But the moment I get surrounded, I'm doomed because the enemies hit so hard. Okay, let's piss off that pig. Okay, there we go. I'll hold that. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back to this in a bit. Uh, God, that is a setback and a half. I could have just left or even like run with Minimo. The problem was, I lost a bunch of items, which I think do wash back up. Full power. On the uh, Daddy. like they do wash back up on the island, but I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I almost never bring, like, an excess of items. Ever. Okay. Can I aim for anything other than its head? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm gonna just speed through everything and I'll be right back to where I was. 